Good morning. It's raining, as you can hear. But the good news is that it stayed above freezing all night. So it was actually pretty warm. I got a great sleep. But we all know what rain does to my morale. So it should be an interesting day. A little bit of a shorter day at 30 kilometers. But I'm going to get everything packed up inside the tent here. Go grab my food, eat breakfast, and then hit the trail. Because there's no reason hanging around camp when it's raining. You guys might have saw when I was filling up water by the highway that my toothbrush fell out of my pocket into the stream. So I don't have a toothbrush anymore. So I'm going to be trying the old finger method. Yesterday I tried to use a stick. It seemed like a good way to get splinters. So we're going to try the finger. We might try some other things over the course of the week. I really don't want to get gingivitis. So um, yeah, gonna going to try this out. We'll see, see how it goes. Oh, for the record, this is pre-poop, so my hands are super clean. Not that they aren't clean after I poop, I do wash them and sanitize. Definitely not as clean as after using a toothbrush, but should work for the next eight days at least. It's raining pretty good, but it's not warm. It's probably around five degrees Celsius, which is just above freezing, but this North Face rain suit already feels like it's a little bit warmer. A little bit more durable, so hopefully a good upgrade over the frog togs. I'll keep you guys posted on that. I do miss my frog togs rain suit. I don't know. This one just I feel I feel so fancy in this North Face one, but so far it's performing really well. It's only been like a couple hours of hiking in it, but been impressed. Definitely will keep you guys updated because, like I said, six of the next seven days are raining or snowing so i'll be able to really put this put this rain suit through the test we'll be going through some crazy willows as well crossing creeks right now we're just kind of going through some bushes but we definitely have some creek crossings coming up i think there's three three passes that we're going over as well nothing like crazy but but we're going to get some elevation and something random thought is my feet have been wet a lot on the gdt and and they haven't been cold. I don't know if it's my socks or the shoes or just that I have really good circulation, but my feet have been toasty warm. They're soaking wet right now, but they feel like one of the warmest parts of my body. So kind of just crazy random thought. Let me know if you have an idea of why that is, because I've talked to a lot of people and their feet have been freezing cold over the last couple of weeks here on trail, just with the cold temperatures and wet conditions. Yesterday, I mentioned that I'm really happy with all of my gear so far. I missed one item and that's these outdoor research helium mitts. These are supposed to be waterproof. They are not waterproof. I get little puddles in the fingers after a little bit. That's even with like closing off the cuffs and everything. They just, they have taped seams, but they're just not, they're just not waterproof. They keep my hands warm. That's why I wear them, but I really wish they were waterproof because then I could put a liner underneath them and the liner wouldn't get wet. As it stands, if I put a liner underneath these, the liner's still gonna get wet. So yeah, not super impressed with these. Probably going back to the decathlon rain mitts because they're waterproof, I know that, and uh, aren't much heavier than these. So there's another GDT hiker at my campsite last night. We've been hiking together this morning. First time hiking with someone, which is really cool. You know, to have some great conversations. First creek crossing of the day. I think they just get deeper after this from what I've heard. And we have tomorrow, some of the biggest creek crossings of the entire trip. So it will be really interesting to, to see what those look like, especially with all the rain and snow that we're getting. Woo! So just walking through a bog, that's, that's Blaze, just for introductions. <laughs> and yeah, there's a lot of bog walking on this trail. And something we, we just saw as we were coming through was the mountain kind of through the fog over there you can see the snow is not much above where we are right now we definitely gave, gained elevation since being at camp but yeah it's cold up here so we'll see see what elevation the campsite tonight is at because it's supposed to snow tonight and get even colder so we came out of that bog and it was a little bit tough to find the trail but blaze got it 
That's where, where she got her name from, partly. And because she's a fast hiker. And it's snowing, but it's beautiful in this bog. Probably a fen, actually. Maybe a bog. We don't have a conductivity and pH meter to double check, but really nice trail. Another creek crossing. And the snow is starting to stick to the ground too, so it's definitely getting colder. So we got a little bit off trail at that lake, but we got to see the beautiful Miet Lake, which was awesome. Really nice spot if you're looking to camp. And then we're just making it up onto Miet Pass right now. Really nice meadow up here. You can see the snow up on the mountain, but it's definitely getting cold. We're both, both pretty wet. And <laughs> keep it moving to keep warm. That's the name of the game on days like today. The last couple of kilometers have been interesting in that there's there's no trail, it's wide open, but we're just route finding, trying to stay kind of on course. And then in another kilometer, we're gonna cross a big creek. And apparently the, the trail reappears there based on comments from other people. But it's nice, it's it's open, there's some views, you can see the mountains over there. And yeah, not not the worst bushwhacking you could you could do. So this trail from for the last couple of clubs has been through a burn and we've basically just been having to go over, under, over, and over <laughs> all of these fallen logs and like there's just it's just never ending. So we made it to the Colonel Creek campground. What a day. <laughs> made Good it. Job. Especially Walking over those logs at the end, just with like mm -hmm. exhausted legs, that was that was tough. And we got Ken here, so more company, which is awesome. Looks like a nice spot. I'm gonna set up, then eat dinner, and then uh, get nice and warm and tent, and I'll touch base before bed. So we ate dinner. It is getting really cold <laughs> after being wet all day too. I just had to get it in dry clothes, get in my quilt, and I'm trying to warm up right now. Fingers crossed it doesn't get too cold tonight. Even better if it did not snow <laughs> or get below freezing because with everything that I hiked in today and my rain gear being wet, it'd be pretty brutal to have to put that all back on tomorrow in sub-zero temperatures. I'm just gonna try and stay warm through the night and then tomorrow I'll give you guys an update as to where things are at and what the morning's looking like. 